And you guess who, boys and girls? I know it's a hard one. But it's me! Very good reason why I'm doing that. I'll come back to that a little later. As always, welcome to everyone. We'll start off our assembly as we usually do. So, hands together, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace after meals. Thank you, God, for the food, food we have eaten. Thank you, God, for all our friends. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome again, everyone. You'll be thinking, why on earth has he got that mask on at the start of the assembly? What other nonsense are we going to get up to? We'll get up to some more nonsense, but there'll also be some serious things to discuss as well. I want to say, first of all, it's fantastic to have all the primaries, one, two and three boys and girls back. Fantastic to have the nursery boys and girls back to the school. Lots going on again. It's been a great week. Now, there used to be a programme, for those of you that are old enough, not many of you are as old as me, called The Week That Was. I told you about all the things that happened. Well, there's lots happened this week, and I'm going to go over some of those things, but also pass on some messages that I have written um, in the, the school app as well. Now, I don't know if the camera pans down enough, but I've not even got my shoes on this week, boys and girls. But there's also a reason for that, like there's a reason for the mask. But I'm going to come on to that very, very soon. I am going to be serious to start with and say it is wonderful to have everyone back. And just to let you know a couple of things that have happened so far and a couple of things we're going to be doing. But when we came back in August, you know, everybody from, from uh, primary one right the way through to primary seven, we all took a book and we used it as a theme for all the classes. The book was called Here We Are. And we took the characters ourselves from there and we put them all around the school. We're going to do something similar again. We've got another book. Miss Smith has ordered a lovely book called Our Class as a Family. And the infants are going to start on that just into next week eh, when the books arrive. And then when the older ones come back, hopefully you guys are coming back soon. We'll also do the book as well. And as it says there, our class as a family, that's a very, very important title because it mirrors what we try to do here at the school. But as part of that there, eh, like the last book we, we, we did a picture of ourselves, we put around all the walls and the corridors in the school, we're going to do some rainbows and some hearts um, that, that's going to be the, 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 the new display around all the corridors. So the infants have already started that. The older ones, when they come back, will do it. And the school will again look wonderful. But it won't be the same until we have everybody back. So that's the first thing I wanted to mention. The second thing to mention is that uh, the boys and girls, primary one, two and three, the nursery, they've not all been coming in the usual gates that they come in. We have restricted the gates that everyone's using. And that's to try and keep as many different people particularly the adults, um, not all congregating together to make things as safe as possible. And the great news to say is, is it's worked wonderfully well so far. So a huge big thank you to all the families and the boys and girls. And I have to say, it must be a wee bit annoying if you live quite close to a particular gate, but you've got to go to a completely different one. But you know what, that's a small price to pay just now to get everybody back and get everybody safe. So I wanted to mention about that too. The other thing to mention when I said about primary four to seven was that uh, our First Minister Nicola Sturgeon did say in her last speech, and she's going to speak again this coming Tuesday, there's a good chance that the week beginning, I think it's Monday the 15th of March, that our older boys and girls will be back. She hasn't said for certain. I keep my fingers crossed that that definitely happens. It will be great to see you back. I really hope that's the case. But a couple of things that, um, or one thing in particular that's not been great since we've been back, and it's nothing to do with you boys and girls, I don't even think it's probably to do with the parents. I think it's maybe one or two people who live close by to the school, but there's been a lot of dog mess beside some of the gates, and it isn't great. And unfortunately, some people on the way in, in a couple of days have stood in it, brought it into the school. We all know that it's really not very nice at all. Uh, our janitors have gone out and cleaned up just outside the gates, but it's also close by the pathways and different things so if I could highlight to all of you uh, the important message that um, if you do see at all please report it because if we know about it we'll get it cleaned up as soon as we possibly can but in addition to that there I'm going to move for just a second 
all the gates, and we'll put down primary one, primary two, primary three on the gates, so everyone knows where they're going, and everyone's been brilliant, as I said. We're also going to stick up this big sign here as well, stop no entry unless on school business, because most people in the community have been great as well. They've, they've, they've not come into the school, but just in case people think they can use the school as a, as a through fare, they can walk right through the school. But also, another sign as a reminder, and that will hopefully be a reminder to uh, people in the community about the dogs, but also to all the parents as well. Please do not bring the dogs into the playground. We have had signs in the past, we've got them again, but we do have a few children who um, are um, quite scared of the dogs and so on. Um, so we do kindly ask you to try and keep the dogs outside, away from the school. I know some people can hold the dogs and so on, but if we just try and keep it very clear to keep the dogs out of the school grounds, that would be very, very much appreciated. So, I'm going to go back to um, my pad now and have a look at what I've got up next of all. And that is, I mentioned at the very start, with my mask on there. And you're thinking, why is he got that on there? Well, some of you may have had a little bit of an inkling about this. And it's World Book Day next week. And that's on the Thursday. And what we're going to do, the teachers always do something quite fun during the course of that week. And next week, we're going to do something. We always try and, we always try and make it so that it's, it, it's, it's up to date, it's, a, it, it's a, a recent event. We're going to do the Masked Reader. Now, I'm sure many of you here know who this is. Some of the younger boys and girls might not know. I know that some of the mums and dads, people who are older, but like myself, will know who this is. This is, I'm wondering, oh, if you're shouting, if you know who this is, this is Animal from the Muppets. Well, you might see some adults with masks just like this, or more elaborate masks. You might even have them disguising their voices. We're going to read a bit from a story with a mask on, and you're going to have to try and see if you can guess who they are. So that's going to be on Thursday of next week. We're hopefully going to get one or two guests to read stories to us as well. Some people, and again, some people famous to Dundee and the surrounding areas, people that maybe live in Dundee, people we might recognise, hopefully going to read some stories for us as well. And uh, they'll not take part in, in the mass one, because you wouldn't know who they were, that'd be too difficult to guess, but they'll hopefully read some stories uh, that, that we can all enjoy too. So that's why I have the mask on. If Miss Smith thinks of anything else, because she's filming this today, she can let me know if she can think of anything else I want to mention, but that's something we really need to look forward to next week. I'm also going to go down and uh, read a story to the nursery boys and girls, and I'm really looking forward to that, because I don't usually get a lot of time in the nursery. So lots to look forward to next week. Uh, even, if you're, even if you're at home, uh, you can still take part in, in World Book Day. But I also want to mention this just now, in case I forget when it comes to the certificates, but next week as well on Wednesday is Outdoor Numeracy Day. So again on those days the teachers will post up activities related to those days and hopefully that breaks up the week for you and makes it a little bit more interesting. So lo lo lots to go on with. But as I said, World Book Day next week, thinking of stories and different things, I'm going to just share with you this week a story which is famous about Dundee. And I'm not going to tell you too much about it, I'm going to let you go away and find it a wee bit more. But boys and girls, you've maybe heard the famous story or heard a wee bit about the famous Dundee whale. There was an enormous whale appear in, in, in the Tay, and it was quite a long time ago. If I remember rightly, it was 1883, so it was over a hundred years ago, a long time ago, it appeared. And uh, the whale was enormous, absolutely enormous. If you can try and picture just now in your head, outside we have the plane, the pond, the huge big container outside. Well, the whale wasn't as big as that. It was twice the size of that. That's how big the whale was. It was 40 feet, 12 metres long. Huge big whale. And it caused great excitement and great worry in Dundee. And the whalers, the fishermen, they all were... So that's what happened, but rather than me tell you what happened with the story and tell you too much about it, and maybe now why is it famous, and, and is the whale still associated with, Dund with Dundee or anything at all, why don't you go online and see if you can find out about that story? And maybe that's something else that you can do at home. So rather than tell you about a famous Dundee person today, rather than do different things that I've done in the past, 
I've just shared with you a little bit of a Dundee story. Famous Dundee story. Maybe you can find out a little bit more if you're interested. The next thing I want to mention now is we're moving on to do the certificates and the birthdays. And I'm first of all going to do the certificates. Now before I come on to the certificates, boys and girls, I'm really hoping that those of you that won certificates in the past and last week and so on, they've all been delivered and they've popped through your letterbox and I hope you've enjoyed seeing them there. So well done. So I'm going to read out the certificates for this week next of all. Remember, get in touch if you haven't received it yet, um, hopefully in the Royal Mail and also the Royal Miss Kennedy who was also delivering as well, lovely Miss Kennedy, that you've got there. So first of all, I've got my list in front of me here and these, uh, can you please read out the following individual certificates? Beautiful handwriting and lots of reasons, engaging really good in, in learning this week. So here we go. In primary 1C, we have Emily Mitchell and Kelly Clark. So well done to you girls. Fantastic. In primary 1GP, Ella Orm and AJ McCallum. Well done to Ella and to AJ. Primary 1M, we've got Dale Thompson and Leon Monoski. So well done to both of you boys. Fantastic. In primary 2B, we've got Sienna Scott and Luca Donald. So well done to Luca and to Sienna. Primary 2M, we've got Amelia Wozniak and Jude Johnston. So well done to both of you. Primary 3H, we've got Reese Robbins and Jordan Colligan. I was actually speaking to Reese this week. Fantastic, Reese, well done. Primary 3H, Fallon Taylor and Archie Ross. Well done to Fallon and to Archie. In primary 4M, well, they've got three. They've sneaked to the next one here. Joseph Gormley, Lexi Donnelly and Matthew Breen. So well done to you three. Primary 5A, we've got Ian Flight. Well done, Ian. Fantastic. Here's one looking really well. Primary 5C, we've got Kerry, Kerry Cook and Nicodem as well. So well done to both of you. Primary 6M, Erin Siri and Naomi Bratton. Well done to both of you ladies. Fantastic. Primary 6S, Mr McMahon's class, Oliver Miller and Eva Anderson. Well done to Oliver and to Eva. Primary 8, 7C, we've got David Baladis and, and Alicia as well. So well done to both of you. And last, but certainly not least, Primary 8, 7S, but, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Smith's class, sorry. We've got Tegan Black and Lucas Cunningham. So well done to all of you uh, this week. So outdoor learning, we've got a few more as well. Reason for outdoor learning, effectively to apply and understand the... the, the, the Sorry, to effectively apply and develop an understanding of numeracy outdoors. So here's the following list, right the way through from primary one to primary seven. Primary one C, well done, Cameron Allison. Primary one M, Delilah, well done. Primary one GP, Brooke Cavan. Primary two B, Ollie Bain. Primary two M, Maisie Bradley. Primary three H, Nairn. Nairn. Primary three M, Daisy Hawking. Primary four, Ryan Innes. Primary 5, we've got three winners in primary 5 again. Oh, that was a different class. Sky Gurley, Junior Ross and Joshua Lawrence. Primary 6M, Orla McLachlan. Primary 6S, Daisy McKenna. And primary 7, Connell Smith. So well done to all those winners. Quite a substantial list for me to read out today. Uh, I don't mind at all. Great to see. And certificates will be on their way to you very, very soon. Next of all, I'm moving on to the birthdays, but before I come on to the birthdays, boys and girls, I've got a special guest appearance for you this week, and I'm going to clear the way for my special guest star uh, to come and join me very soon. So I'll just move all this stuff here. Hopefully be with us very, very soon. But before my special guest arrives, I have the birthdays, and I'm going to read out the birthdays that are between now and next Sunday. So these birthdays are the birthdays at the beginning of March, because March, believe it or not, it's hard to believe, March starts just next week, it's starting next week. So, the following boys and girls have their birthdays between now and, as I say, next Sunday. First of all, Primary 7 we've got Natalie Bailek on the 3rd of March. Happy birthday, Natalie, when it comes. We've got Caitlin Cuthbert. Caitlin, your birthday is on the 4th of March. Happy birthday to you. On the 6th of March, we've got Dylan Hislop. Happy birthday, Dylan. On the 7th of March, we've got Luke Miller. Happy birthday to you, Luke. 
Uh, on the 5th of March, we've got Rosie Ogilvy. Happy birthday to you, Rosie. On the 7th of March, we've got Emily Smith. So happy birthday to Emily Smith. And on the 4th of March, we've got Billy Thompson. So happy birthday to Billy when it comes. Happy birthday to all of you when it comes. So boys and girls, as I said, I'm going to be joined by my special guest very soon. But before I am joined by my guest, I've had some more feedback. I've had some more feedback about my jokes, and it ranges from they are very good to they're the worst I've ever heard. Well, the young man, the young man is about to join me, and here he comes right now. Over you come. You come and have a seat next to me, Ethan. You come and have a seat. <laughs> this is, would you like to introduce to the camera, what's your name? Ethan. Ethan. Ethan Sparks in Primary One. Ethan tells me that my jokes are the best in the world. Is that right? Yes. Yes, they are the best in the world. And today, Ethan, I've got three jokes for you. Ethan is going to tell us the third joke. So I'm going to tell the first two jokes. But my jokes are brilliant, aren't they, Ethan? Yeah. yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to tell the first one. So can you listen? Yeah. See if you can get this as well. Miss Smith usually says, usually helps me out. So the first one goes like this. Knock, knock. Who's there? Gladys. Gladys who? Gladys nearly the weekend. I'm fed up with all the schoolwork. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. I've got another one for you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Scald. Scald who? It's scald in here. I'm going to close that window. Sure. Thank you. You might close the window for it. Look, that's my partner in crime. Brilliant. Well done. That's right, Ethan. Brilliant. Back you come. You don't want to miss you coming and telling your joke here as well. Okay. Do you? So, are we getting ready? Yeah. We're getting ready. Okay, so, we were telling this joke last week, weren't we? And it's just brilliant. But see, before we tell the joke, when we tell everyone, you love Batman, don't you? Yeah, he's really good, isn't he? He's really cool. So when we, when we tell this joke, are you ready? Are you ready? Big loud voice. Ethan, what's your joke? Okay, what does Batman's mum say when it's time for tea? What does Batman's mum say when it's time for tea? I don't know. What does Batman... Dinner, 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 Batman! Give him a big round of applause. Absolute star man. Everyone at home is killing themselves laughing. They think you are an even better joke teller than me. And that's saying something. That's saying something because as you told me, I think you think I'm the best joke teller in the world, don't you? Yeah. Now, listen, can you sit really nicely for me? And I might need you to help me out. Actually, what I'll do is I'll get you to hold on to my football just now. Can you hold on to that? It's brilliant. Okay, I've got a few other things to tell everybody that's important about next week. I mentioned about the Masked Reader and World Book Day, and I mentioned about the books that are coming in. I have a few other things to mention as well. Boys and girls, see tomorrow, it's Fit Friday. Fit Friday tomorrow. So those boys and girls coming into school will be dressed in all, all their outdoor clothes so they can go and enjoy outdoors. At home, the same, if you can do things that keep you fit and are nice and healthy. But a couple of things to mention, it's maybe putting two things together. We've got the House Challenge, which I think the closing date for that is this Sunday. So tomorrow's the last school day where we could actually do it. So I'm just thinking, maybe is it one or two of the activities tomorrow in class or outdoors, boys and girls could maybe take part in the house challenge. And the teachers with these new lovely iPads we've got can maybe video you. And very importantly to the teachers, if you can make sure you do the video, eh, help the boys and girls upload them, send them, send them in, and also fill in the Excel spreadsheet, that's for the teachers. So Miss Kennedy, who's organised all this, can see who the winners are. That's really important, and we can do that there. Miss Smith, can you think of anything else to do with that? No, she seems to be absolutely fine about that there. So that's really important to mention. Also want to mention, because we're going to finish off by saying a wee prayer, okay? Yeah. So before I say that, boys and girls, I me mentioned at the last assembly about Lent, and I'm hoping that many of you out there have made a Lenten promise and are trying to do something. Maybe you've given something up, but you're trying to do something during Lent. Remember I said the last time I've been that better person. That would be really, really good. And maybe now's the time just to mention as well. When I was mentioning at the very start about all the, all the important things with the school, we are doing our best in school here, as you know, to keep the school as safe as possible, to make sure all these lovely boys and girls can come into school. 
So I would ask parents at home, I mentioned this in my uh, school app uh, message, a we could try at home and out in the community to mirror all of the safety guidelines as much and as closely as we possibly can. Really, really important. As our First Minister said, to keep the schools open and so they remain open and to get everybody back, we need to all in the community be as sensible and follow the rules as best we possibly can. So from me here to all of you out there, please, wherever possible, I know it's frustrating, I know it's difficult, but just for a little bit longer. If we could do that, that would be really, really great. So Ethan, I'm going to finish off now by saying a little prayer. You can you can join your hands as well. Let me put this down here a wee second because I've got one last thing to do after I've said the prayer. And that's why oh, that's why I've, that's why I've got the ball here. So I'm going to join your hands. Okay, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This prayer to finish off our assembly this week is for everybody who's lost a loved one during these during these times, and for anybody else that's not feeling too good. So for anybody out there, this is a prayer for you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, I'm going to swap. I'm going to get you to come and sit in this big seat here for me. Because, Ethan... What I'm going to do now is to try to inspire all the boys and girls out there to take part in the house challenge because they're going to try and do a plank and all different things. That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and do some keep you uppies. That's why I had my shoes off at the start. Okay? I'm going to try and do a few keep you uppies. Now, when I practiced earlier on, I got 6,423. But we don't have time for that there. So I'll maybe try and just do a few. So hopefully in one take, Miss Smith, one, two, three. Three. That was rubbish. Well, try again, Ethan. Try again. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I will stop <gasps> just there. So I'm getting kind of a bit old again. So I've got fourteen. Can you get more than fourteen? I wonder. Or can you do the plank for longer? So get those house challenges coming in. And until next time, I'll swap seats here. Ethan, we're going to say bye to everyone. Bye. bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.